The search is underway for a gunman who ambushed a police officer on Monday morning in DeKalb County at an apartment complex. The officer was called just after midnight to investigate a domestic dispute at the Wesley Club Apartments off of Wesley Chapel Road. A woman met him outside the 600 building. When the officer went inside the apartment to speak with the man involved, the man started shooting. According to DeKalb County Police Major D.L. Jordan, the officer was not injured. Jordan called the incident very disturbing and clearly avoidable. The suspect definitely tried to kill the police officer, according to Major Jordan. Following the shooting, police set up a perimeter at the apartment complex and called in police dogs and aerial support units. The search continued for the alleged shooter uh, throughout Monday morning. Police have not released the man's name or his description at this time. Well, days after a, a storm system uh, dumped uh, inches of rain across Metro Atlanta, drivers are still dealing with weather-related road closures. The heavy rain caused roads in Gwinnett and Rockdale counties to wash away last Friday. Repair work continued through Monday morning, causing some issues for the Monday morning commute to school and to work. A sinkhole in Rockdale County is blocking the route to three different schools. Access is limited to Rockdale County High School, C.J. Hicks Elementary School, and Rockdale Magnet School on Monday. Monday morning after a large section of Roland Road collapsed last Friday. The asphalt crushed a drainage pipe under the road and it could be a while before the road is repaired and reopened. In Gwinnett County, a, a, a turning lane on Scenic Highway before Henry Clower Boulevard remained shut down for repairs. Heavy rain Friday caused a portion of the road to collapse, forcing the closure of the right northbound turn lane. Now, the lane remained closed all weekend and repairs are expected to get underway this week. This according to Georgia DOT officials. In Midtown, a busy block of West Peachtree Street was shut down due to a reported sinkhole there as well. The road closed uh, near 3rd Street and drivers are asked to avoid the area. The roadblock is expected to cause traffic delays between Midtown and Buckhead. Well, one person was killed and six others were injured after a man led state troopers on a high-speed chase through downtown Atlanta that ended with one hit uh, when, when he hit two cars, according to police. The chase began around 3.30 a.m. Saturday morning when a, a Georgia State Patrol trooper uh, traveling south on Spring Street noticed a black Dodge Challenger driving toward them on a one-way street. The trooper tried to stop the driver who made a U-turn and then fled. The chase ended on the downtown connector uh, when the driver of the Challenger identified as 34-year-old uh, Kari Williams of Union City struck a silver Nissan Altima and a red Ford Expedition. Williams fled the scene of the crash on foot but was apprehended by two troopers according to authorities. The expedition had one driver and four passengers, some of whom were ejected as a, as a result of the accident, according to police. The passengers in the front seat of the SUV died from his injuries at Grady Hospital, while the driver and other passengers were taken to Atlanta Medical Center for treatment of their injuries. Two people in the Altima were also injured. Uh, both are from Metro Atlanta. The conditions of the injured have not yet been released, and the suspect uh, who caused the accident is suspected of driving under the influence. Uh, he is charged with uh, second-degree murder, with vehicular homicide, two counts of serious injury, felony fleeing, and other traffic-related charges. The fatal wreck shut down the southbound lanes of the downtown connector for more than three hours on Saturday morning uh, as police investigated the accident. That's the news for now. I'm Charles Hoard. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. We'll see you next time.